up, guys? How's your show going? Tell us about it. Yes, yes. The show's going great. We got Hemi Hemi in the building. Yeah, 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 Hi, yeah. Hi, Hemi. Hemi. How you doing? We lit. Make sure it's on. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, we lit. Ducked out Thursdays in the Sorry, building. You know what I'm saying? Mike Booth, Ching Bing, Hemi in the building. Shouts to the rest of the camp, you know? Hi. It's a big camp. It's how many of you guys? Yeah, how many of you guys are? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to shout out, you know, I want to shout out Ali. Um, shout out to Eco. Yeah. Um, Cousin Q. Yeah. Um, Lita. Um, Cook Monster, um, Zaya, um, Tokyo Shrimp, Tokyo Shrimps, motherfucking, um, Mac Morris, Mac, 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 you know what I'm saying, the whole family, if I Ice, forgot you, everybody. you already know your family, I love family. you, you already so know, so sorry if you forgot, right, yeah. so tell us about your show and how we got started and everything, Babe, well, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, you know, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, our podcast, um, uh, it started out as a thought. Um, Nori one time mentioned it. He was like, yo, y'all niggas, you, you got to do a podcast. But we like, yeah, all right, whatever. You know, this is what you do, nigga. So um, we, we, we started getting a little serious because when we started traveling with Nori, um, he would occasionally bring it up. Like, yeah, Ching Bang and Mike Boo got a podcast. And, and um, you know. He was um, speaking it into existence. Yeah, he right, right. definitely. Basically. Yeah. Um, and uh, we took it from there. Uh, we actually uh, went and got some of the, uh, the equipment to, to, to actually proceed with the broadcast. And um, once we bought the stuff, we got paranoid. Like, we fucking froze. We just really? bought the shit. We, we, we bought the shit and just left it in the crib. We just left it in the basement. Just on pause. That shit was brand. We spent like $2,000 on equipment. And we actually just left that shit there in the fucking shop. But you gotta remember, we didn't have a name. We didn't know what yeah. we, you know. You didn't have a following, you didn't have right. listeners. We you about had to think name. about the content, but but you got the best part out the way in the beginning. You had to come out of your pocket, get all that, and then you just had to take some time, let it marinate, and let everything work out the way it was supposed to it work actually, out. It actually did for me because I was actually traveling around the world and watching Nori do these big podcasts with big names, such as LL Cool J, for example. Um, Ice Cube is another E-40. big one. Uh, wow. uh, E-40. And I actually, you know, I've, I've been in these podcasts, and it's like, I like the energy. I like, I like you know, the dialogue. And, and I like, I like you know, when people express themselves or, or just talk about their stories. or like The communication, yeah. the content, the discussion. I love it all. I love Intelligence. It all. Yeah, I love it all. So, so fast forward a little. Um, one day we, we uh, one day we book a studio, we book a session. We like fuck it, we want a car, we want a car and shit. And um, I, I'm looking at Mike Booth and I'm like, yo, let's take the equipment, fuck it. Uh-huh. And he's like, I right, fuck it. So we take the equipment. We got no clue what's going on, how it's going down. That's how you all do I know it. Is like, That's it. Um, Start filming, right? All I know Ching is Bing like, went in, Ching yeah. Bing started. She set up because I was, I was like, I'm telling you, he bought it the day we bought it that day. I didn't do nothing that day, but he was into it. Like, yo, come on, I'm gonna interview. You know, he was, yeah. he was yeah, prepping himself. But the I'll, next time after that, he was like, yo, yo, we both, yo, we, we yo, be yeah. ready for next time. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm ready for next time. But we was like, yo, um, we, we ain't have no name. So, um, Ali was like, damn, we coming on. Uh, it's a Thursday. So it's stuck out Thursdays, oh, and then no, that's how we stuck out Thursdays. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I have a friend named Flores Farragamo. He was like, yo, Bing, your show's dope and everything. And I'm, I'm thinking you should do a throwback Thursday on the show. So mm-hmm. that's what we're applying now. Oh, that's exactly. Dope. That's, that's dope. what we do here. Yeah. I mean, we can yeah. share right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's, say, it's dope. I say, I say dope, uh, throwback Thursday because, like, me and Booth, you know, we built this did this platform, right? Mm-hmm. Um, for upcoming people, you know, for people that don't yes, have a voice. Yes, we understand. For people that, that need, you know, fire, that exposure. Like, like this guy yo, right here. Yo, 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 yo. All type of segues yeah. that yeah, 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 yeah. For people, for people that, 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 um. Need that exposure, yeah, need that open need that door, don't have need, the money, need that don't opportunity. Have no time. Right, and, that's and, how we do it too. And I, I wanted to build this podcast for, for 
like for people like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people that's in the game already coming here. Right. So we got we figured it out. Because you're we already like, on there, all well, the platforms. Yeah, Everybody yeah, knows yeah, all your business. Yeah, you but nobody knows about yeah. this Thursday, one that's yeah. coming up yeah. and yeah. trying yeah. to get in the game and they really and talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 talented. so I, I got a lot of love. A lot of people that's in the industry want to come up here. So we don't want to say no because we knew too. So we like, right. right, fuck it. But then again, we sit back, we go back to the drawing board, and we like, yo, you know what? We gotta do a puff daddy on them because, come on, who, you know? We need let's more fresh faces. Who want to hear? The know? industry. Yeah. Let's talk about it, like yeah. for what it is. It's really not at a good state. So you need that real raw talent. But you don't think industry. to mix it up to where it's okay that sometimes people no, that no, are ready. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we're kind of doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. But the main goal is the main goal that platform. To, right, to start to bring it back to the up and coming artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we, of course, we're going to have a couple veterans here and there. Okay. But it's, you know, we're trying to definitely base it on up and coming artists, give you that platform to come up and showcase your talent, your, your you know, your skills, you know. And what, treat what them like, with. like, just like if it was. If it was a, like if Andy he was Martinez a high, right, right, high, high 97 yeah, or with the, Give them that same yeah, royalty definitely. treatment. Right, right. Let them feel like they're a celebrity there, guest welcome and so everything, in right? The, so when you said that you're going to implement Throwback Thursday, what is that? Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give a chance to the older guys in the industry that's been around, and, and they can come up. Like and they bring, and, and, you, you know, know. Nice. they, they yeah. bring their artists as well. Nice. You know, because Dug Out Thursdays, right? Like, when we started this Dug Out Thursdays, it wasn't just, it was just like a straight up, like, it was just, the ambiance was crazy, like, yeah. You you come to Thug Out Thursdays and it was different. It yeah. was like right. It was like yeah, I've been there. It was the vibe, the energy, and it was amazing to me. So I'm just I'm just amazed of, of how far we got. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to give. I want to. I love old heads. Not right. mad. But Nori got that like already in the smash. Yeah. Okay. No, he tried to remix. All the legends that's in the industry in the game. So he got that. Right. We need to get with like. Up and coming personalities, you know, beautiful women as yourself. No. Yeah. Well, our TV, oh, brilliant and resilient. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. so it just makes sense for the culture. Yeah. And, 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 and we start, you know, we started our first ladies' night, you know. Yeah, that was the And that we're was coming to the next ladies' night, by the way. I feel like I'm going to be a idea. You might not remember when I planted it, but oh. I had, had a conversation oh. with you. Oh. I definitely oh. did. Oh. You I did, and I was like, you need to But you know, girls. these eyes are motherfucking. You like yeah. that shit. Yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. It's for the light, guys. I was like, yo, yeah. That's why I was like, yo, I like you. And I did, yo. That's where it started. You don't smoke. And it's so crazy because I came up with that whole female version of Thugged Out Thursdays, Drink Chance, something else. With a little class to it, right. and just kind of get get to kill while well, not trying because right. I removed the word trying from my vocabulary. We're doing, but we are killing the stigma say, with you know what they do with women. They call them hoes, thots, strippers, dancers, all these. All these Why? Women what are you called? What, what they got to so do to get that normal. bread? I'm like bitches, and, and it takes a lot. Like, what you doing that? That's a woman. So I want to kill that. The boss oh, for women yo. in the industry. Right, that's you didn't good. Mean that. I, try to, I try to mean it. I don't never that's mean it. That's what I'm doing with Bar TV. I gotta relax. Okay. <laughs> you already know. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me, though, Tish. What's up with you, baby? I see you looking I mean, we are here. We're doing Bar TV. We're doing Get to Know Me. I do a radio show. Like, I'm grinding. Shout out to Bar TV. TV. This is so. We, we, this is the first episode of Bar TV. This right? is. This is the first episode. Now, this is now on a Thursday. Let we me definitely want to wish you much success. Thank, Thank you. you. you so, um, basically, I met Tish on, a, on the FM radio station. We were co-hosts there. So then I ended up going out on my own and starting Bar TV. Of course, I had to have Tish with me because me and Tish are like, that's yin and yang. Yeah. Like, she's my everything. So we, we just vibe really good together. So it worked out. And... Um, we got an amazing um, production deal. So as we're waiting, you know, I want to build a buzz. Right. I don't want to wait until we get on set and start filming and then try to get. So as we're waiting, 
it's a blessing to be able to use Get to Know because I was already co-hosting with her mm -hmm. and Darnell and Saiz. Whenever I want to come here and co-host with right. them, I come. What's so the, now we're doing that one. Like what you said, what is the topic of bar host like? Like what is it based on? Like. Well, it's, it's basically this like yeah, what, what you what, what you, you said. Okay, but so we people. have a bunch. But we have a bunch of different segments, and we'll be doing games and stuff. We'll be drinking. We got um raise the bar, which is gonna be for people that are doing things in the community. Um, we have um lawyers. pass the bar to do with the lawyers, because okay. every aspect of bar we want to cover right. that. Okay. So the bar, the nightlife, the girls, right. the dancers, the so bar. So you gotta you gotta you gotta uh, shout the sponsors out. Let the sponsors know y'all need some liquor. Yeah, yeah. we need yeah. that liquor. You Come know, with that laugh. liquor if you want to get. In while we're starting from this bottom, exactly. Yeah. We go all the way to the top. I have a question for you though. How were you surviving the 2018 with no social media? Because you're Talk still it no. It it up. Yeah, go ahead. You're no. still no. Pull it up. Pull it up. My boy, move. Oh my God. No, he has it. I My God, been on social him. media for seven you hours. Me now. I follow Today. him. I've been following him. No, but he had, didn't have. It's, it's called just, no. Just, his Instagram just is called today, no Gramble. No, it's not. No, it's just started today. That's Buddha. That's Buddha. No, because I follow one. You probably no, follow one. Yeah, she rap. That's funny. No, it's one that he. The one that's in thugged out official thugged out Thursdays that you guys mentioned at no Gramble. No, I'm. I got a Gramble. That's the one that I follow. But when did you get it? Yeah, that's him. Well. He probably just posted seven hours ago. He said his first seven hours ago. That's what happened. He did the first post seven hours ago. Okay, but because I'm like, where is this guy? And everything's like hashtag no grip. Like seriously? I got him. I'm gonna let you know. Finally, I'm still. I'm still not like I need that uh, uh, no grand tutorial, sure tutorial of uh, so let me explain rule number one. I'm gonna follow you. You follow me back. That's oh, how it works. Right. Okay. All right. Once they show me how to you do this, you have to follow go, me back. Right. Okay. I'm following no grand boob already right. and official third. Am I following you? Follow I don't you know if you follow, follow, you follow me back. Oh, okay. We're gonna figure it out right now. MV Melanie. Shout out to me. MV Melanie. MV Lon. Don't follow me, y'all. Y'all follow me. Yes. And I got that's it. That's how we're going to set it off like that. Then I'm going to get to, you know. Know me. Know us. Get to know Yo, us. I'm, I'm telling you. We're going to do I'm, more I'm together because so we're coming on to on the next ladies' night anyway. Yeah, 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 so, definitely. You're going to get the crazy on the what? On, on the gram, I'm going to be the new DJ Khaled. Oh, okay. All right. Because like I was going to ask you. <laughs> but hold on a second because the world knows him as no grand boot, but I know him as Mike Cuzzo. <laughs> so I was just going to ask you. Um, like, what category do you put yourself in? And but you just answered that with where you said I'm gonna be the next act because you, you know, you, yeah, I see it though. Yeah. I see it. I, you know, I'm gonna have to turn it up now that I didn't have a gram, you know, make up for lost time. See, That's right. right. So, so I, I want to talk to Hemi, I want to talk about what you have going Let's on. Let's get it to you, man. Dug out Thursday, man. That's what we got right. going on. You heard? Now That's what it is. You you know, it. Yeah, yeah, man. I got yeah. two projects, three projects out now that throughout. Uh, I Am Hemi, volume one that came out, hosted by 97, DJ Big Ben. We did Off the Muscle after that. Then we did Back, Back in My Bag, which I was here with DSN a few times. Shouts to the whole network here. They always show love. Shout out to the yeah. studio. So from yeah, they blasted off the Jodeci record I had in the Rucker Anthem. I did a Rucker Anthem Park. Rest in peace, Greg, the owner of Rucker EBC. And they blasted it off here and, and it went viral. And we back with Thugged Out Thursdays it was just like a, a new project. Yeah, they amazing opportunity. We got the new me. project coming. Sorry to cut my guy off, but like I said, you I know Hemi Hemi got right? um, you know, had projects out, but right now listen to me. He's a monster right a monster. now. How long has has he been doing music and how long have you been working with him? Give me the history on you and your artists. We've been, I've been doing music for 10 years. Well, I actually went to school for music. The first thing I ever was handed in my hand as a kid was a recorder, okay. opposed to a baseball, a bat, a basketball. So I kind of was involved with music. I could read music. I know how to play drums, saxophone, a few instruments. So that's what my IQ for music is kind of so a you're little a musician. different. Yeah, I'm an artist, you're musician. An artist. Yeah. He's like one of my favorite artists. No doubt. Really? For real, man. Awesome. I mean, yo, listen to me. When you guys music, believe in him. Hold, hold on. Let's music, give up. Yeah. Right. Hold on. Oh, exactly. Yo, that belief is all you need. When y'all right. hear it, besides, you know, you know, off the record, when y'all hear it alone, 
We're gonna be feeling it. Yeah. So when I asked you, you said you rap, you write, you produce. Mm -hmm. You do all three of those. Yeah. Probably a more play instrument. Yeah. What's your, do you have a favorite thing in music that you do? What is the one thing you want to succeed at? Uh, being able, that's the beauty of Thugged Out Thursdays. Thugged Out Thursdays represent no, opportunity. Aside from Thugged no, Out but, but I'm too. tying into that. Okay. Give me a sec, I'm tying into that. Opportunity is key. All three of us up here have the same stigma of bones inside of embedded in us, which the bond creates. Where is that? So it's like we about opportunity. I, to keep it 100, I do what I do for opportunity to create platform. I got kids. You see, we got Seth over here. So my whatever goof brings the bag, basically. Says, no, no, not no. necessarily because okay. I don't want to say like we're just doing anything for a dollar. Right. We stick into the plan. We got a plan we worked out. We stick into the plan and okay. we're going to run with it. And I'm just the, the door opener. It's going to be a whole million man march behind that so Dope. just just the beginning of a lot yeah. music is his you know what I mean music is my main thing from there then he's gonna you know, know I mean? get John more into his, his writing with you guys but he's yes, a musician definitely. you don't do music you don't do music you don't no, sing a produce, rap produce, sing produce. a rap yeah, you rap? rap? Like, I do music. I produce music. No, I'm talking about in I'm that on, sense, like singing album. or rapping. Do you sing yeah, or rap? I don't necessarily no, have he sing or rap. He's, a, he's okay. an artist too, because this yeah. is the intro, God. This right. is, he's a, he's a right. DJ Khaled on the on the so talking. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. be the Khaled on the grand. Right now. This is a Khaled on, on, on live on music. <laughs> when I was asking you though, I meant in in music though, mm -hmm. like. Do you feel like when you're writing, you're in your best space? When you're performing, you're in your best space? When you're I mean, like, like I said, that's that's the beauty of having passion for what you do. Uh -huh. I got 100% passion for no each. The same, the same effort I give in writing a record is the same effort I give in writing my own record. Right. I, I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it. Let them know you cold, cold Yeah, we did, we did, we did, shouts to E1 Records. We did uh, Break the Pot with Rich Boy from Alabama, which did throw some Ds on him. And that charted number 35. That was top 100, top 150. So realistically Emmy, speaking, that's kind of oh, like. So you're really way back. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's kind of like we some have stuff. Music from you, actually. Yeah, y'all got some new music. Y'all got, y'all got the new, the new swag. Which one we getting into? We got we paper. I gave him paper. Let's get in the paper. Let's get in. You got paper. paper. There, so buddy? introduce your song properly. Oh, uh, this your boy Hemi. Hemi. Hemi represent Thugged Out Thursday. We in the building. You heard? We got the new. We got the new record paper produced by my boy Veli. Shouts to Veli. You already know mixtape coming soon, hosted by Ching Bing. Thugged out Thursdays. We in a genre. Do you work with a lot of different producers, or you? Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah. I kind of created my own world, so I pretty much stick stick with my own guns. That I pretty much know. Yeah. Okay. No, it's, it's not out yet. This is a world exclusive no, right here. It's not out yet, but he got he got a. Uh, in the meantime, let him know your SoundCloud, YouTube. Oh uh, you can you can catch me on uh, Instagram, Hemi underscore Hemi underscore Hemi, which is spelled H E M I. Catch me on Instagram and we get it going. Thugged out Thursdays.com. Thugged out Thursdays YouTube page. Thugged out Thursdays YouTube page. Yeah, Thugged out Thursdays YouTube page. Make sure y'all subscribe. Um, right now we got uh, one, uh we dropped the episode uh 16 um featuring um Vimy from um the Supreme Team. Um, that's a dope podcast because um that we did that we just put out. I, I suggest you take a look at it. And at the end of the podcast, um we have Hemi's new video out, which is called Cameras Flash, and also featuring Lita. No, it's Lita featuring Hemi on the hook. Uh oh, get it right. Amazing. He's on the hook. He's on the hook. He's on the hook. Okay. Um, I directed the video with, with Mike Booth. Okay. Um, you guys do everything. You hey. host. We didn't cash Hitch. money. You got, I know. That's you a one-stop shot. You got to be multi-talented. Listen. That's what I'm talking about. Not only am I, like, CEO of Thugged Out Thursdays, I'm hands-on with everything, whether what it takes up to putting up the fucking, mm -hmm. the backdrop, yeah, yeah, stickers, yeah, like, he, setting up. He, he, he I'm in on everything. Like, I'm keeping it 100. I'll be falling back. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I help a little bit. I'm gonna help you carry this shit up. I'm keeping it a hundred. That's all. And that's I'm it. Fall, that's man. all. No. Y'all know who works with each other, and that's what's gonna no, make it. I just wanna win. Know, like I just wanna win. win. My whole thing is, I wanna be able to to look back and be like, damn, yeah, you know, I'm good. Everybody's good. You know what I'm saying? And well, and while we're waiting for this, let me ask you this: How long has? Because I know you're in your second season. Yeah. By the way, I watched the. I do. I do research on the. Uh, people I'm going to interview. So I watched this since Fifty, and you know, I do know him from back in the days, and we have a little history here. So I'm just trying to figure out 
how long have you really been live? And when, if, because I'm not going to assume, when did the bag start coming with Doug Dow Thursday? What took that breaking point? Do you remember that breaking point moment? As soon as we hit that, uh, that, that, that viral joint with um, Cassidy and uh, uh, AR Ab, that, that, that was the breakthrough for us. Yeah. That was super dope for us. And more importantly, for the hip hop culture, people who haven't heard or saw right. Cassidy for a while. Yeah, so I was say, and, that was dope. And he revealed some key information that he's never revealed to no other yeah. you know, platform. platform, platform. You know. So was that a, a throwback Thursday with Cassidy? It was not that You know, let me tell you something. It was, it it was, was a shout out to Capone, man. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me clear this up because I don't want people to get the assumption that, that we are trying to, you know, be one of those people that, like, put someone out, you know, with controversy for, for drama. It, it didn't work like that. Okay. It just so happens that ARF came on our podcast through a mutual friend, which is Paul Boy, right? Uh, 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 uh Paul, right, right? Uh, and, um, um, right? So he comes up to our show. Uh -huh. So it's amazing because we had actually Shout out the to best. ARF, shout, shout out to ARF. Big facts. ARF, energy, vibe, no, yeah, everything no, was amazing. Real, man. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, man. He came up there, That's he gave us, dude. you know, a lot of people come to Thugged Out Thursdays and forget. Like I said, we street. It don't get no oh, I know. You're All right, cool. Me. So it's a point in the, in the show where I always say, yo, fuck a beat. We're going to keep it straight. And um, ARF delivered one of the hardest joints he gave us to us. Um, so we asked a few questions about Cassidy. So matter of fact, he told the story. We didn't really even ask no questions. Okay. Because like I said, we're not on it like that. We just right. be vibing like how we vibing here. Uh -huh. So it just so happens the next week, Capone calls and he's like, yo, I'm coming through with Cassidy. We like, oh shit, wow. bring him. Wow. It was nothing like, you know, right. fuck it. Come, that's Capone, you know Capone. Right. Shout outs to Capone. Yeah. Uh, he always shows us love. He pulls up, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and brings, you know, different um artists and, and you know, it yeah. shows love. Yeah. Um, so so Cassidy comes up, and let me tell you, <laughs> he told me straight up and down, he said, this is gonna be the best one yet. But I'm looking at him, I'm like, all right, cool, you know. Right. He didn't know, you know, I didn't well, he know. He's going to go. Yo, yo, but he told me, honestly, he was like, yo, Look, he told man. him, because I didn't even hear so that. He told me straight up, that's my word. He told me this is going to be the best one. This one's going to be the best one. And numbers-wise, you might look at it and you might say, oh, I AR shit, they're better. But with Cassidy, we went we viral. Actually, yeah, we actually, yeah, we, yeah. That's we actually we did a lot because business, I forgot okay. what YouTube person took mm -hmm. took it chopped it to 12 minutes and then put it on their platform oh, and they did wow. like yeah it started we circulating it's that you know, easy you know, so that's the check right right that's, that's, the that's, that's the check that's the check that's the check yeah. Yeah. shout out to the bag Cassidy so summed it up that's a confirmation that throwback Thursdays is, Yo, is a good thing exactly. I'll tell you like this man Oh. That 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 you know that's nothing because we chasing Millie and Billy. Mm -hmm. That's right. a big fact. If y'all don't know who Millie and Billy is, no, we do. then y'all fucking relax. Right, you gotta relax. We coming, we coming too. We're ch chasing you. We're chasing you. Millie chasing though. Billy, right and I'm chasing here. both of them motherfuckers. The female version. Exactly. Right so on. we're coming. We're not only coming to um, ladies' night because no, I'm inviting myself. We're coming we're anytime coming. we want to. That is that time. I'll yeah, let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's Definitely tell them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the um, vibes are always right. It's always sending Exactly. Listen, hold Let's on. Because I definitely want to get into one thing here. My whole point here with Mike is right. I know Mike, and people might have the misunderstanding or think that, oh, he started Thugged Out Thursdays because he was on a few episodes of Drink Champs. Now, I, I know that he rocked with Nori from like, the mid 90s that I knew of, probably before that. So I would like for you to get into the history of the evolution because now you mentioned he was with you back then too. Of course, you so know. So how you all went through an evolution together yeah. to even get to a podcast. Oh, people don't know the. the no, because I know. We'll get into See, that. What it is is years to get that one us year. And, yeah. us, we, 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 us and Bing was already family, but Bing was already in the Hooskow and Bing was with. 
Slime already before we even got to be with Slime. But Bing was still in the Hooskow. He was family before he became out the Hooskow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Destiny. As soon as we got with Nori, shout out to, uh, to Lizzy. We got with Nori in the, like, mid to late 90s. And, yeah. you know, the yeah, bond has been there that. since. Yeah. Then, you know, Ben came home and Slime like, how the fuck you know? Come on, that's family. Like, yeah. you know, him and, him right. and Six is him from. Six, six, is, six is from, from, from these blocks. Six, six seven, seven, yeah. Seven. From Gerard. Yeah, yeah, I know. On the phone. We, we, hold on. We can get him on the live. Shout out to Six Seven. Six Seven. Shout out to Cuzzo, you already know. What you? Hold on, because Rocco's going to be on the live at 7 o'clock when he gets on the phone. Shout out to the murder unit crew. I'm a, yes. Shout, yes. shout out to everybody too. that, that no, that's a fish. Shout, shout, shout out to Dude. Shout out to Double O. You already know. Shout out to um Shout out to uh Double Big uh, Chris. Uh, uh, the big Deuce. homie. D Boss. D Boss. Yeah. Three young Bucky. Six Bucky. Yeah. Right. Young Bob Y B, right. what it so, do? So are you saying the queen? Oh, everybody, I I don't know why they actually. We the Queens is the is is that is family too, but we all Murder Unit is based out of the Bronx. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, 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 they, so, they like so, went to so, school so, together so, from like yeah. kindergarten, okay. maybe third grade <laughs> or something like that. And then they were just like hanging out and bros and cousins. Uh, and then all of a sudden they do they a moved a together. Of people, right. And I know they went into their own paths in life. And you know, now everybody has evolved and become parents you, and you business know, people now. We was, no. able, yeah. we was able to, uh, you know, I was able and From you know, From the street Bing, to the industry though. Definitely, like I said, that's what I'm about to explain right now. You know, me and Bing was blessed, you know what I'm saying, to be, you know, with Nori and to be introduced to the industry, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we created our platform after that, you know what I'm saying? Thanks to Nori, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Nori, shout out to Drink Champs, you know what I'm saying? And you know, now shout out to Bar TV. Shout out to Bar TV. Shout out to Bar TV for having us. Thank you for coming. I'm going to need you to go to introduce yourself one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to play it. You already know, Thugged Out Thursday in the building. Shit, boy, Hemi, 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 dropping that new paper record produced by my boy Veli. Mixtape coming soon, hosted by Chink Bing. Mike Booth, what we doing? Hemi. Wow.